Choosing the treatment option that's right for you is a big decision. And there are several dialysis options to choose from. It's important to talk to your kidney doctor about which treatment option best fits your lifestyle so that you can have the best possible outcome and feel your best. If you're like a lot of people, home dialysis may be the best option. Home dialysis allows you to perform treatments on your own schedule and gives you more time at home to spend doing the things that are most important to you. Home dialysis helps you have the flexibility you need and the freedom you love. People who choose home dialysis may feel better and have more energy because they are able to treat more frequently and longer than they would in the center. People who choose home dialysis may also have fewer food restrictions and generally take fewer medications. At home, you can receive treatment with the help of family members or friends, or you can do dialysis on your own, depending on your therapy choice. And doing your treatment at home doesn't mean that you're completely on your own. On-call nursing coverage is available 24 hours a day. Really anybody can do it, and we're there every step of the way. Our nurses are on call 24-7, so you're never alone. You'll also have monthly check-ins at your local dialysis center, along with regular meetings with your care team. Home dialysis can offer longer, slower, and more frequent dialysis treatments, which are gentler on your body and much closer to natural kidney function, meaning you have a lower risk of complications during treatment and are likely to feel much better between treatments, including having more energy to do the things you love. Being at home is much more convenient than having to travel when it's cold, dealing with the weather, the snow, the ice. So of course for me, it was a no-brainer just to be at home, be with my family. Choosing the right treatment option will ensure that you stay committed and help you thrive. I mean, I often tell people that I brush my teeth twice a day, I eat three times a day, and I do dialysis four times a day. And that's just kind of how I look at it, that that's what I have to do, and that's what I do. Talk to your kidney doctor to find out if home dialysis is the right fit for you. Visit fresiniuskidneycare.com forward slash at home to learn even more about the many benefits home dialysis can offer. I've always had a pretty positive outlook on life, and I think it served me well. My name is Chris Green. I live in Sedona, Arizona. It's the most beautiful place to hike in the whole wide world, and I'm retired here, and I love it. I've been on dialysis almost a year, about 10 months, and when I was first diagnosed, I went into shock and denial. So I didn't do anything for about six months. I got sick and I thought I just had a cold or the flu or something and I just couldn't shake it. So I went to the emergency room and met with the same doctor who told me the first time. I knew I had to do it. My lifestyle was pretty busy and I didn't want to take the time going to hemodialysis. And when I heard about peritoneal dialysis. That sounded like it went along a lot more with my lifestyle. The nurse that helped me with my trip actually trained me in PD. She and I went out to my little trailer and she showed me where a good place would be to hook up the bags. And I actually did, you know, an exchange in there. She was confident about it, which made me confident about it. And then it was just something I had to do. I mean, I often tell people that I brush my teeth twice a day, I eat three times a day, and I do dialysis four times a day. And that's just kind of how I look at it, that that's what I have to do, and that's what I do. I went on a trip this summer. It was a road trip. It was 5,500 miles about. I visited a lot of friends and family and saw a lot of beautiful sights. I had to schedule drop-offs for my equipment about every two weeks. And when I was on the road, I could pull over into a roadside rest and pop up my trailer, do my dialysis, and then pop it back down and head on my way. It was pretty much a little PD booth. 
I really had accomplished what I had set out to do, and it was a good feeling. I've kind of planned two more trips <laughs> before next summer. <laughs> I thought, well, maybe I can do this on the train, maybe I can do the, you know, I, I don't know if there's any limit to what I can do. My name is Shannon Cook. I am currently a home therapy advocacy manager in Arizona. Before I actually became a nurse, I was a medical assistant um, and I worked for a nephrology office. So the kidneys already kind of became near and dear to my heart. I was there for about three and a half years until I became a nurse. At that point, I actually met a man who is now my husband and he was just about to start dialysis. He was 25 years old had been diagnosed at 19 with a disease called FSGS, which is focal segmental glomerulosclerosis, uh, which is basically a hardening of the kidneys and it just happens. There's no way to prevent it, no way to stop it. He actually started peritoneal dialysis and on our first date, he had just had his peritoneal catheter placed. At that point, he started manual exchanges. He was going to work full time as a security guard. He was um, in school to get his bachelor's in teaching. So for a year, we did peritoneal dialysis. We went back and forth a little bit between the manual exchanges and the machine, just to kind of depending on what we were doing at the time in our schedules. But it was really easy. We could actually put supplies in our trunk, go to Vegas for the weekend. It was nice. It made it very life friendly for us. Um, I was also in school. We had three kids at the time, so it, it, it fit into our life. Um, and I couldn't imagine doing anything else. We were fortunate enough that his brother was able to give him a kidney. So on Valentine's Day, almost 11 years ago, he went in and got a kidney transplant and we're doing very, very good with it. But I know that if we ever had to go back to dialysis, which could happen, we would do home dialysis again. Hi, my name is Sam Trevino. And when I was 19 years old, I was on top of the world. I was a star college soccer player, and suddenly I started to feel sick. I started throwing up, my skin started to itch, almost to the point where it felt like I had fire ants on my body. I became very weak, I had no energy. So we went to the doctor, and the doctor came back with the results and said, it looks like your kidneys have completely failed. And the only way to manage your, your health and stay healthy is to become a dialysis patient. In one instant, I felt like I lost my past, my present, and my future. Three days a week, I was going to have to go to a clinic and dialyze for four hours at a time. I had no control over my life. And one day, a nurse came to me and said, would you like to do home dialysis? And I quickly said yes, and they trained me how to run my own machine, how to be empowered, how to take control of my disease. I was able to marry the girl in my dreams. I was able to have the energy to go back and play soccer. I was able to become a full-time high school teacher. It gave me control over a disease that I was told I would have no control over. And ultimately, I was able to receive the gift of life a transplant from my wife.